Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to all of you. Before you, I'm Igbal Hussain Shobuz, working as an assistant teacher in English in Zinius Laboratory School and College, Meherpur. Uh, and a very uh, well, welcome uh, to all of you from the Meherpur online class. Today, I'm present here to talk about uh, voice, the voice sense actually. So now I'd like to talk about this voice. So first of all, before going to the main discussion, I have to talk about a voice or in a brief for your better understanding, my dear students. So voice indicates whether the subject of a verb does something or something is done to him or her to eat actually. I'm trying to persuade you like whether the subject is focused on or the action is focused on. If the subject is focused on in a sentence is called active sentence. On the other hand, if the action or the result or the do is emphasized in a sentence is called passive sentence. So let's get started with the main discussion like uh, there's a sentence he eats a mango he eats a mango right this is a simple sentence I mean the plain sentence so here I'm fine I'm going to find the subject verb and the object so actually the verb this is a verb if the verb if the subject of a verb is emphasized or the subject or the doer is emphasized in the sentence or if the subject is active in a sentence or if it does directly then it is called the active sentence so i can easily say uh, that the structure of the active sentence subject verb object here the verb subject verb and object so we know that actually in a transitive verb we can easily uh, easily uh, become a sentence or which can easily uh, take a object and that is called the active sentence right this is a transitive verb so if the verb takes any object that is called a transitive verb on the other hand if the verb doesn't take any objects or the action or the result whatever you say i mean the object here so it cannot be called it as it, as it is a active sentence right so on the other hand if i compare to this sentence like he works every morning Okay, this sentence, you see, my dear students, right? So, he works every morning. There is a verb which does not take any object. If you ask to the verb by the help of what and whom, I mean who, if you get the answer, then it will be uh, called the transitive verb. Suppose he works. Who works? He works. Every morning. This is not the object. Right? So here he runs fast or uh, he works fast. Subject verb and after that it can be used in the sentence, adverb and other things. We cannot call it is an object as if we ask to the uh, verb by the help of what or who then it it cannot be able to make any 
uh, answer so that is why we can say this is a intransitive verb intransitive verb and this sentence can be active but it will not be changed into the passive as the verb doesn't take any object so if you don't find any object it, you cannot make it into the passive okay so my dear students here like if we uh, try to compare above the two sentence then you can see that he eats a mango so there is a verb so he eats who eats he eats what kind of things is eating a mango the result of the verb he eats what does he eat what he eats actually a mango which is eaten by him so the verb is easily taken by the help of object so the action and the ultimate results he eats who he eats actually who is eaten by him actually what kind of things he is going to eat the ultimate result of the verb if i try to if we ask the verb the verb will make it an answer uh, that the mango is the object of it so here subject is focused or the subject the another name of subject here doer i mean the performer who is going to do something directly active means direct and when we are going to uh, have actually the direct sentence and it is already occurring or it's happening by the help of subject and when the sub subject is active then it is an active sentence when the subject is passive like a mango is eaten by him so a mango so there you will find here you will find the uh, different structures according to the structure it will be different but according to the meaning there will be no a uh, change uh, above the meanings are same but if you look at the uh, sentence uh, into the structure then the structure will be different from each other right so i think i have got the point so the point is that the main point is that subject verb object here in the, into the passive mode in the passive sentence the object will become as subject a mango will be turned into the uh, uh, into the passive but it will be fixed at the very beginning as subject the object turn turns into the subject here into the passive and after that uh, and another thing is that actually and here the subject is transferred or turned into the objective form and before objective form it will take any uh, suitable preposition like by with it in etc these are the things so most of the time it has been done using by okay so my dear students here a mango and then i know that actually you all have the prior experience on tense as you are the student of class 8 so that's why i think you have already understood all the rules and regulations of tense but if you forgot if you have already forgotten here it doesn't matter without tense i can help you in different way to uh, learn this item very properly like so if the uh, look at the whiteboard and see the matter that if the verb is present form or the base form actually the present form 
of the other two forms then you have to write as it is a third person as it is the singular so it refers to use auxiliary verb is in a sentence so the main the basic of the thing that actually this is a verb and this also a verb this verb is taking a subject and here the subject is able to make it clear in meaning uh, to direct and the subject is able to direct the sentence and it is able to uh, make a meaningful sentence on the other hand this subject is not able to make it clear that what it intends to uh, say so here is eaten this is a verb the work of a verb the subject is not enough to make a meaning so indirectly it is working in the sentence as subject but the, a mango doesn't work directly it is doing in the sentence in a passive mood or in lazy mood so the basic structure of voice you must remember that is in the active sentence you will find the object and into the passive mode the object will becomes the subject and after that you have to find you have to uh, that if the sentence is present indefinite then you can uh, uh, choose the auxiliary verb like am is are if the subject is i then it will take am if the subject is the third person singular it will take is or if the subject is plural then it will take generally are so i think you have got the point so if you don't if you are not able to identify the sentence then you can write uh, without maintaining the uh, tense then you can write down if the subject is in the present form then you can write am is are as it is present tense so a mango is and then the verb will be fixed being the past participle form of the verb so verb v3 so eaten and then the preposition by and subject will be turned into the objective form him so the basic structure is that subject an auxiliary verb and then v3 i mean the past participle form of the uh, form and then by or any other preposition uh, and especially the suitable preposition will be preferred to write down and then the objective form of the subject so you have to know the passive auxiliaries as if you don't find if you if you are not able to identify the passive auxiliaries then i'll try to give you some outlines for your better understanding and then uh, uh, you should know the objective case of the subjective form or the subjective to objective so these are very much important so let's run uh, to the next part so i think uh, uh, it is going to be the very helpful for you uh, so this is the thing so this sentence is very much important so if i write this way he is eating a mango right he is eating a mango so here the object mango and then it will turn into the subject a mango is as it is third person singular it will take is after is will have to write extra b e i n g being here you will find that this is a present continuous tense so you have to write being and if you don't find if you don't uh, if you're not able to identify the tense so you uh, for this reason and, and that situation you have to remember that if you find any ing form after the verb then you have to write down being if any sentences in any tense if you find any ing form 
which is using after the verb then you have to write being so a mango is being just only you have to change only the auxiliary forms into the passive mode from active to passive but the other things are the systems the rest of the systems are the same okay so the man a mango is being eaten by him so a mango is being eaten by him uh, he is eating a mango this the sense i think the meaning of the both sentences are same but the structure are different from each other and this is also the part of uh, changing sentence uh, so a mango is being eaten by him here the subject is directly doing the word and on the other hand here the subject is doing in a passive mode or passively right so the subject is not able to uh, help the verb to make the meaning that's why passive here the subject is able to help uh, to the make to make meaning and he's helping the verb to make a, a meaningful unit that's why this is a what is that active sentence so the subjective form of the objective form it will fix into the first and then auxiliary uh, verbs and then the main verb and uh, the first participle form and the by and object uh, which has been already uh, sensed uh, with the help of subjective to the objective or objective to the subjective form by turning each other so i think you have got the point or if the sentence would be like that actually he has eaten a mango here you'll find that is the present perfect tense it refers to the present perfect tense as it is used in the sentence has and the first participle form of the other rest of the forms so my dear students if you are not able to identify what the tense is so you can take help only to see the verb actually here if you get the verb uh, the uh, past participle form of the verb so you will try to write down this way like a mango has been here is also referred to write have or has as it is the perfect sense so you can write if the subject refers to the singular then you have to write has and after that you have to write the been as it is the third form or the first person form of the be uh, been so here is it is used uh, has been for making into the passive mode so mango has been the mango is singular form a mango or one mango i mean you have got the point right so this is a single unit so it will take has been if the subject uh, would be like that actually mangoes then it will take it would take actually have been so here as it is used this way so you you can you can have writing you, you will have to write has been a mango has been and after that eaten eaten as it is the same form into the both both cases then you have to write uh, eaten and after that a by and then the same him also the form of the subject right so whenever you will find uh, the first participle form of the verb and have has and then you will write has been or have been uh, making passive a uh, before verb and the rest of the rules are same so we i have discussed here the three tense and uh, the present perfect continuous or past perfect continuous or perfect for future perfect continuous these are the three sentences will not be able to make the passive sentence right so only 333 three, three, three 
uh, above all, uh, I mean all is uh, the, through a nine. The nine types and the nine, uh, it will be used in the nine categories in uh, maintaining the tense, right? So, is it in a mango? And then the same sentence uh, I'll give you uh, to uh, make you understand like uh, I at a mango at the v2 i mean you have uh, got the point that is uh, the uh, past past form of the participle i mean the other forms this is the past tense right i add a mango here the subject is same a mango as it is past tense first form of the other verbs so you have to use a mango was so whenever you have to use uh, that if the subject is third person singular it will take uh, is was has if the subject uh, will uh, pass uh, will will plural form and then it will be like that actually uh, have um, or and are these are the things okay so singular in case of singular these three will be fixed into those and have uh, were and are these three are uh, uh, will be fixed uh, before the plural case so i think you have got the point so, a mango was was I add a mango? A mango was eaten by me. A mango was eaten by me. The rest of the things are same, but only it has been changed as it is past tense. So you have to write was and then past participle form of the past form. Then eaten. A mango was eaten by me. And after that, if I use like that, actually, uh, I was eating and then was and if it is eating, then you have to write was being eaten by me. So these are the same. Okay. And then if you, if I write here, like. I had eaten a mango, it's perfect uh, tense, first perfect tense, and then a mango had been, as it is first participle form, then you have to use been. Uh, in case of ing form, then you have to use being. In case of first participle form, then you have to write been. A mango had been eaten by me so these are all about the past tense and then i'll go to the future tense like the same sentence if i write i will eat a mango then subject a mango will and you need to write be verb into the passive mode a mango will be eaten by me my dear students here you will find will be will be will in turns into will be and then v3 and the all the rules and other rules are same so if you write will be eating and then you have to write mango will be being extra being will be added here if you write if you write then uh, will be being into the uh, making the continuous tense will be is uh, referred to write and then uh, future uh, perfect I will or shall have I will have eaten a mango 
then a mango will have been as it is as usual past perfect a past participle form then been will be added I will have been and eaten the same form eaten by <coughs> so these are all about the tense wise voice I think you have got the point right so besides you will uh, get some innovative uh, voice like that I know him then you will find the subject it will be into the subject mode he is as it is indefinite so is no and the first form first participle form of the no is known not it will be not used here uh, by it will be preferred it will be referred to right to as it is the appropriate uh, appropriate word i mean appropriate preposition here he is known to me as yes, so you you will have many rules and regulations uh, suppose your uh, behavior pleases me and uh, uh, actually please uh, with uh, or at actually the news shocked her and shocked at uh, these are the imp very important thing and then annoyed i he annoyed me uh, suppose uh, there's a sentence he annoyed me he annoyed me then i was at his past tense i was annoyed with him here the subjective form of the me i as it is past tense words and await the same uh, form of the past participle or past tense and then annoyed with these are the things so only by is not uh, enough for making a past tense rather by with at in these are also important for making the voice and it will uh, demand for uh, making the sentences uh, in, uh, according to the sentence uh, you will uh, find you will try to write down that actually so i think you have got the point so this was all about the tense wise uh, voice mm. so i think you have got the point so before uh, before finishing my class uh, i'd like to say you actually uh, the voice sense is very much important for all levels of students in our country and the learning outcome of the class actually you will uh, you will try you will have uh, much uh, more uh, attention and uh, when you, you can get the outcome from me by doing this class uh, that is actually you can identify what is active or what is passive or you can uh, you can uh, already uh, sense uh, intersensibly from uh, active to passive passive to active but it is not interchangeable actually suppose there is there are some sentences like uh, he was born in dhaka there is no interchangeable actually this is also this is uh, almost passive sentence so you cannot change into the active so in this way you, there are many kinds of sentences you will have then you cannot a sense so it cannot it cannot be said that actually it is uh, interchangeable uh, but most of the cases we see that we can easily uh, sense uh, so uh, so just you have to find the transitive verb and you have to find the object i mean the action or the result of the verb and then you can uh, sense into the passive so my dear students i think you have got the point what i have uh, already uh, teach taught you before you and what uh, so i think you have understood the matter so um, uh, after finishing my class if you have any question or inquiry then you can write down on the comment box for be uh, your better understanding and i'll try to help you in many ways so thank you very much thank you mr well assalamu alaikum